Hi family, welcome into our channel. This is Nikki. You are silencing all your critics, every last one of them. You're closing the mouths of your critics. Those people who didn't believe in you, you are silencing their mouth. At one season in your life, you had their mouths open. Now God is silencing the mouths of your critics. You ought to be so proud of who you are. You ought to be so proud of where you've come from. You ought to be so proud of you because you have done something and God is getting ready to do something in you and through you that has not been done. This next level up that you are going to experience, family, it's going to be so shocking, not just to you. It's going to be shocking to people who know you. Your life is going to transform. Your life is going to change in ways that you've never thought were possible. This is why God is going to silence the mouths of your critics. This is why family is so good to let God fight for us. Because whenever you let God fight for us, family, it brings you a peace. You don't have to fight for you. God knows where you are. He knows where you're going. He knows what you've been through with. God knows all things. God is omniscient. And God said he's going to shut the mouths of your critics. Why is God going to do that? Because God is sovereign. God has his own boss and God does whatever he wants to do. And whenever it comes to his children, God does what's best for his kids. You know, this is why God will allow critics to talk. This is why God would allow people to look down upon you in a season of your life. God will allow all these things. You know why God would allow it? He's allowed it for this reason, to shut their mouth. Because the level of success that you are going to embark on is going to shut the mouths of these people. They're not going to see it coming. You've known it in your spirit. You've sensed these things in your spirit. Now God is going to let your critics see these things. God is going to let your critics know, family, who you are. You know, people are going to look at you, family, and they're not going to know how you got from where you are to where you are now. They're not going to understand how did you get from that place to here because you put your trust in God. When you put your trust in God, you cannot fail. I want you to know that whenever you believe in God and put a thousand percent trust in God, faith and belief in him, God is not going to allow you to be made shame. People wanted you to be made shame. But God said for your former shame, he's going to give you double for your trouble. Where did you have shame in your life? Who brought you that shame? God said for that. I'm going to give you double for your trouble. God said for your former shame, the things where you had to hold your head down and you couldn't lift up your head, that place. You go back to that place and you remember that place because God said he's going to give you double for your trouble. God blesses us and God rewards us for the things that we go through with and God rewards us for the things we come out of. You're going to get an amazing reward, family. You're going to get a reward spiritually. You're going to be healed in your spirit. God is going to heal you in your emotions, in your mind, your soul. Your heart is going to be healed. God is going to lead you to the places where you need to be. He's going to put the right people in your place. You don't have to worry about that. A lot of you are reaching out to me, asking me these things. And God is going to put you in the place where you need to be. You're where you're supposed to be right now. You may think you're in, you're in the wrong place. You're not in the wrong place. God knew you would be in this place before you got in it. So let God see you through. Let God do this for you, family. Let God shut the mouths of your enemies. Let God shut the mouths of your critic. You just keep trusting in God. You keep picking up your word of God and feeding your spirit. Because you are a spirit, family. You house a body. You are a spirit. You have a soul. You are powerful people. And don't forget that. You're powerful. People know who you are, family. The enemy just never wanted you to tap in. But why don't you affirm it today? I've tapped into who I am. I know who I am. When you know who you are, certain things in your life you're not going to accept anymore. You're not. The people who criticize you in a demeaning way, God is going to shut their mouth up. You know, some people, family, are agents of Satan and they don't know it. You had a lot of agents of Satan that were around you that did their best to put a cap on your gifts. They wanted to put a cap on your abilities. They didn't want that thing, those things to come to surface. They never wanted you to find out, your, find out your gift. They never wanted your gifts and your abilities and that anointing that is in your life and upon your life. They never wanted these things to be birthed. 
but you have come to full term and it's time for you to give birth. It's time. Everybody needs haters. Just like you need people to clap for you and applaud for you. You need haters because haters going to keep you on your face. Haters keep you on your knees. Haters keep you in the presence of the Lord. Haters keep you humble because it's a sign and an indication that we all need God. You're going to need God when you're up, when you're down. You're going to need God no matter where you find yourself in this life. God said he is going to silence the voice of your critics. God is going to use your critics to promote you. You keep the sword of the Lord in your hand and you keep the sword of the Lord coming out of your mouth. Trust God and don't lean to your own understanding. Acknowledge him and in all your ways direct your path. What path are you trying to take right now? God said, don't you lean on your own understanding. He said, just acknowledge me in everything that you do. He said, I'm going to direct your path. I'm going to put your feet on the path where you're supposed to be. God is going to do that for you. You know, God will reroute you to get you back to the place where you need to be. God will. And I want you to know today that you have not failed until you make a conscious decision not to get back out of that place. You can fail your way to the top. Failure, we learn lessons because what we didn't get right then, now we can get that right this time around. This is why God is throwing so many solutions and issues at your family so that you can resolve these things so you can use the wisdom to find the solutions. Did you know you are a solution to someone's problems? Now they see it because you're not there anymore. Sometimes people don't know who you are and what you bring to the table. Sometimes people don't know what your potential is until you hold back, until you pull back your emotions, your presence. God said, I'm going to shut the mouths of your critics. God is going to do that. How is he going to do it? God's going to remove you out of that place. Whatever environment that you're in that is not a healthy environment, God is going to remove you out of that place. I want you to know that today. God is going to remove you out of that environment. God is going to remove you out of that community. He's going to remove you from that family of God because God sees your heart. God knows what's in your heart, family. God hears every cry. He hears that. He knows how broken you are. God knows the desires of your heart because the desires that you have, God gave you these desires. Did you know that? All those beautiful desires that you have in your heart to do and in your spirit, they came from God. You didn't wake up one morning and say, oh, I have a desire to do this and do be a blessing over here. No, God gave you that desire, family. You have so much more to look forward to, family. You have an amazing future and I don't want you to think about anything less. I don't want you to think about and give space and energy to the people who hurt you betray you it's time for you to put that behind you it's time for you to take that thing and put it behind you and flush it throw it out of the window family of god don't seek revenge from anybody don't take matters into your own hands no let god be the god of your life let god be the god of your breakthrough because that's what he is your breakthrough that you are looking for is in god it's not in anybody else it's not in anything else although god is going to use people to give you what you need God is going to use people as a vessel to give you what you need. God is going to take the thing that is in the hands of the adversary and he's going to give that to you. Your enemies are promoting you. Your enemies have set the stage for your promotion. Your enemies, your critics have set the stage for your life, family of God. So hold on and keep your hand in God's hand. Keep your hand in God's hand, family. You're going to go through things in life. We all are, but you are an overcomer. You're going to learn how to go through. How do you go through? We know we're supposed to have faith, but how do we have faith? You're going to have faith in everything. You're going to believe when it's hard. You got to talk yourself into a good place. Because whenever you can speak positive, family, you're going to have what you say. As a man, think it in his heart. So is he. God said death and life are in the power of your tongue. Start speaking life over your situations that are barren and unfruitful and unproductive god says speak life over that situation you don't wait on anything to change god told you to change that environment he told you to do it you're going to speak it you're going to use your kingdom authority you're going to use your government authority it doesn't matter who didn't want you to make it you have made it you're not waiting on anybody you're in a position to be in the best place of your life 
God said he's going to close the mouths of your critics. And in the, in the meantime, you just keep allowing the word of God to come out of your mouth, family of God. This is Nikki. It's been a pleasure to come into your homes. I'm so happy for all of you. Thank you for your emails, your prayer requests that you have coming in. Thank you for all that you do toward our channel. Keep subscribing to our channel and keep hitting the like button because it helps the algorithm of our channel. Don't get scammed. You see the scammers in the comment section. Just delete their replies and their notifications and just keep reporting them. Keep keep yourself focused on where you're going because it's not where you're being. It's where you're going. Just know that the best is yet to come for you and no weapon that is formed against you is going to be able to prosper. Family of God, we've all gone through things, all of us, me and me included, but we go through. We go through. God doesn't sit us in the fire. We go through the fire. And whatever, wherever you are today, you're not going through that alone. Just know that God is with you. He promised you that he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. You may feel lonely, but you're never alone. You're not. You have the presence of the almighty God, El Elyon, the most high God. God is going to silence the mouths of people. God bless you. We love you. Talk later. Bye-bye.